guys, check it out. So we have ourselves our Laval Evo 21. This here is a revolutionary smart helmet. By smart, I mean this thing can go ahead and send an SOS message to any of your contact the moment you get into a crash. It has automatic braking features. It has turn signals. It has a lot of different things packed into one, which I'm really excited to show. Now, this particular unit was sponsored by Lival. So if you guys want your own, be sure to check out the link down below in the description. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so this here is our helmet. Uh, so they sent us this nice looking color. It's almost like... Uh, purple with a bit of a gold spec to it. I'm not really too sure, but it looks really nice. Uh, at first glance, it's just your typical looking helmet, but it does have a little bit of extra. So you have this almost like LED in the front, an LED going throughout the back. Um, and then you have your standard stuff here with an adjustable strap for your head. So you just go and spin this dial here to loosen it. And then you have this little mount here on the bottom as well. Now on the back side here, you'll see a power button and then you'll see a charge port. So this here is just a simple uh, charge port cable that will come with. And then you have your on off button right here. So you simply press this button here and this will go ahead and activate it. Now, once you've activated it once, you don't have to activate it ever again, as this thing has an accelerometer built into it, meaning it can go ahead and turn off and turn on by simply touching it. So it's off, pick it up, and it'll automatically activate. Ta-da! So a matter of four seconds of us putting it down, it'll automatically turn off, so it does save power that way. Now, it does come with this nifty looking mount for your bike, so you do have uh, some controls on here. So you have your left turn signal, just like that. And this will actually go all the way throughout it. And then you can see the headlight here on the front activated. You press your right turn signal. So that's kind of cool too. So uh, you can change the features, which we'll look at in just a little bit. Um, you also have a snapshot button here. So you can press this button here to go ahead and activate the app and take a photo. And then you have these different mode toggle switches as well. So it's kind of nice that they have everything built into this. So you don't necessarily have to pull out your phone to do a variety of different tasks. Uh, it does have GPS, which is kind of cool. But the way it works is that the helmet connects to your phone, which tells you your location. So that's kind of nice. So you can go ahead and track yourself as you're using it. So just keep it in mind that the actual helmet doesn't track you. It's your phone. Um, now let's go ahead and open up the app next and try this thing out. This here is our app. Uh, so we already click on bling helmet. <laughs> okay. So we blinged our helmet here. I can go ahead and confirm that by simply using the, the turn signals to confirm that we've connected to it just like that. Uh, now you have your variety of different settings. So you can go ahead and change the name of it. You can change the light settings. So you have the flow mode, which we're in right now. Uh, then you have a flash mode. So you can go ahead and have like a strobe effect. Uh, you have close and then you have your default light, which is just, just a simple standard light. So we'll keep it on flow since that looks really cool. Um, now you have the ambient light adaption. So in the dark, it will actually go ahead and turn on itself. So that's one of the cool features behind that. You have your heart rate, you have this, you have all your features in here based on that. Uh, so that is what you can do in terms of the control mode of this particular unit. So this app is actually pretty cool. Kind of talks about all this stuff. So you can bind, you know, your bike, you can bind your lighting, um, you can compare it to other people. So you can bind your heart rate and then just a variety of different tasks, which is really cool. So app is really simple, really easy to use. In addition to that, it also has some areas you can go ahead and like mount different things. So I went ahead and mounted a GoPro mount over here to kind of give it a visual field of the camera pointing downwards or upwards based on your liking. Uh, and yeah, let's go ahead and try this thing on and see how it feels like. So let's go ahead and open it up. And there we are. Let's go ahead and clip the bottom. Now this is fully adjustable. There we go, and let's put our glasses on. Ha! Ah, so cool. Now you do have a dial here on the back to go ahead and tighten it or loosen it based on your personal preference. And it looks pretty nice. So <laughs> it is quite snug and it is very comfortable. Uh, I like the fact that it is breathable, it has these like vents on the top. And then you can go ahead and control it, obviously using this right here. So this is our right one. Ah, it works. Uh, left turn signal. How cool is that? And uh, you can go and see how it looks in the dark. Oh, oh look how bright that thing is. What? <laughs> um, so if I go ahead and just take this off, give you an idea how bright this thing is. I mean, like this thing looks really, really cool. So I think the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and take this bad boy outside and try it out. 
All right, so we're ready to go. I'm outside here. Uh, I got my go-kart and I got my uh, helmet. I go and do the turn signals like this. Right turn signal, left turn signal. <laughs> it works. All right, uh, so let's go and turn this guy on. Safety first. So it does work, so that's kind of cool. Uh, definitely safety first, especially when you're using something like this, or you can go ahead and use a bicycle. And with that said, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.